Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in for this message for Taurus. Um, let's jump into it, Taurus. Let's see. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message. All information is listed in the description of this video. For those who are new, I am a psychic medium. Um, so I do not use any cards or any tools when it comes to live readings or personal readings. You can catch me live for Wednesday on Wednesdays and Saturdays for Q&As, questions to be answered. And you shall see me in action then if you're new. Um, I'll be live this Wednesday between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Show us a message for Taurus. What is Taurus' message at this time? You can catch me at Patreon for daily messages, weekly messages, monthly messages, meditation sessions, crystal messages, um, chakra readings as well, and so much more. So tune in there. That link is listed in the description as well. Show us a message for Taurus, spirit. What is it? Taurus. 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 Show us one more for Taurus. All right, Taurus. All right, this could involve someone who is married, was married, or um, maybe it was talks about being married. It could have been a committed relationship for some of you. But if it feels like it's... Uh, it's some love loss with this situation. It don't seem like you're together or you don't. So a lot of you, if you are married, you could be on the verge of splitting up. Or this is what you're thinking about. It's like the feelings change. It's like you don't have much to say or give to this person anymore emotionally. Like It's like someone is emotionless. Like they don't have any more emotions for this situation anymore for this person. Um, but they're advising you to have an honest discussion with this person for those um, who are still, or, um, maybe there's children involved, or, uh, you could be still residing together on a verge of splitting up, like, it, a conversation needs to be had, yeah, you need to, uh, open up, communicate your truth, or this person do, it, it, it go both ways, but there's not enough attraction or chemistry for this anymore, yeah, this is definitely involving a, um, but some of you, you're going to come into another connection. Um, and you it may involve marriage, okay? For some of you, you could be getting married to the other person. Um, maybe you had a long-term commitment with this person. That ended, and you're coming into a new connection. But make sure you leave that connection with whoever you lost feelings for. Make sure you have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with that person. You know, put everything on the table, how you feel. Don't just leave it uh, as is, you know? You want to wrap up all loose ends you want to make sure this person have an understanding you have an understanding okay why we're splitting what's what's best for us so you know you won't have any grudges or have any um bad taste you know you just want to walk away and start a new new cycle with you know you want a fresh start you don't want to have any baggage from a past relationship so that's what they're saying the baggage could be that you never communicated how you really feel you know you never expressed your true feelings of what this person did to hurt you or whatever the case you it never uh, possibly it could have been through a heated argument um and you know through heated arguments it's not you can't you're not going to really make out like what this person is really meaning or because it's two people that's arguing that's uh um you know frustrated and it's a lot of it's a lot of aggression um forceful energy that's trying to force the person to understand what they're saying but you're heated they're heated it's not going to be any understanding so they're saying like you know once that die down or whatever have that heart to heart conversation you know where you're calm they're calm so it could be heard and not just um you know brushed off you know so you both can uh speak and actually listen to each other so it can be a better understanding with releasing this. Now, if you're not in a committed relationship or it was in a committed relationship, you didn't have a bad breakup, this may not be your reading this week. But this is definitely for someone who are in, who was possibly married or had a committed relationship uh, with someone. It looked like bad 
um, versus good. So it look like you do have a change that's coming in um, pertaining to love. And it do look like it's going to reach a higher level of commitment. Um, and this person could definitely be the one. But for some of you, I don't know, this keep bringing me into the connection that you're in. It could be just you fell out of love because, you know, this person wasn't getting you due to the changes you're going through or whatever the case may be. Um, something happened where, you know, you weren't seeing eye to eye. But they're saying, like, this actually could be the person. Dang. You may go into separation, but the passion will be brought back because this is a soulmate connection. The attraction may left, but it could come back. So for some of you, this could be the same connection. But for some of you, this is an old connection and versus new. But let's see more for Taurus. Mm. It could have been some cheating, some lies, deception going on in this uh connection, Taurus. Yeah, separation. So some of you could be separating, releasing. Yeah. And then it's some, someone, one person is the chaser. Like... Yeah, it's time to, like, really put everything on the table. Express exactly how you feel. Let's see more on this energy for Taurus. Show us more on wedding. Or someone need to express this to you. I feel like, I feel like the running and chaser energy, like, once upon a time when you was feeling this person, this connection, um, you know, you are down for it. You want us to give it your all. Look, you could have been considered the chaser at the time. However you want to look at it, but that's the reality of it. And then this person was the runner and they finally gave in to you. And then once you really got into this connection, this person may have showed a side of them that you weren't too pleased with and it caused you to run. So now you're the runner and they're the chaser. So, yeah, that's what it's looking like. Taurus, you could get in the hell out of Dodge because you do not want to deal with this person. All they want to do is argue. You could be dealing with a fire sign. It's a lot of um, combative energy. So someone may be aggressive, the energy that I was getting. Like very aggressive. with, with the, Like when they trying to get their point across, they try to force you to hear them out. Force you to understand what they're feeling and how it should be. With No, it should be a compromise. But this person is not willing to crack compromise. So this could be why you're running from this situation, fleeing from this situation. Or Taurus, this could be you, how they're looking at you and they're running from you. Take it however it resonates, okay? Um, and it's like someone is, it's someone is very committed to winning the argument. And this is what makes the argument go on and on and on. Like someone is like, Lord. Okay, show us more for Taurus. Yeah, it could be two lovers. Someone could definitely. This is like pushing someone in the love in the arms of someone else. This is how you may feel like, due to what you went through, it just pushed you in the arms of someone else because you weren't satisfied with all the arguments, the disagreements, or whatever. Like, this person wasn't getting you. You weren't getting them. It was just like, why am I here? Okay, and then someone else, you know, that's why the seduction is here as well. Someone else, you know, comforted you or made you feel special. Maybe you work with this person. Maybe you 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 go to the gym with this person. Maybe you go you go to maybe you picked up a class of some sort, or you maybe you 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 was walking in the trails and you, you and this person came together. But however it happened, it happened, or it happened with this person. But at home, it was like it was too much. It was too much conflict, too much tension. So this is what not saying that that's okay for someone to just run run into someone else's arms, but it's like that's what happened though, or this is what happened to your person. Take it however it resonate. Show us more with the lovers. Someone could be dealing with a Gemini. Show us more with the lovers or a fire sign, such as Aries in particular, or an Aquarius. So I feel like someone is wanting to heal this now. They want to sit down. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Let's heal this. Yeah, I cheated. You cheated. Or I cheated, and I'm sorry that I cheated. Can we make this right? Um, I realize what I have, and I don't ever want to mess this up again. So someone is definitely want to confess to you how they feel. It's, it's crazy that um, 
it's like they've been wanting to do this, but the, the way they went about it, it kind of pushed you away farther and farther and farther away. Show us more on, on unrequited love. The Empress. So you, you're not you're not feeling this no more. Um, this is the, the Taurus energy or Libra. You can have Libra placements, but um someone is not feeling this anymore. Someone is like I just I don't I'm not attracted to you anymore. What you did or how you treated me is just it's not it. Someone is not feeling this no more. The Empress. Show us more on the Empress. One more on the Empress. Yeah, this Empress do not want to invest in this anymore. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So you could have a child with this person, children, or this is just, you know, you, you're you showing up as the Empress. Okay? Someone who is very abundant and who is all the queens in a day. Um, you have all the characteristics of the, each queen. So you a representation of all queens. Um, and this person is realizing this of you. And they're wanting more with you. They want to at least apologize. But I feel like they still need to work on their... Their... Uh, how they approach this is not... It's not... Uh, it's not given. I, will, I wouldn't want this either. Like, it's like... It's forceful. Like, you're going to talk to me. I want to tell you how I feel. It's like someone needs to calm down. <laughs> Show us more. For, uh, let's see more on the Five of Swords and the Knight of Wands. For Taurus. It's like, how you want to heal it with me, but you coming in all aggressive? Show us more on the Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they want to tell you, look, I don't want to lie anymore. I don't want to cheat anymore. I don't want to deceive you anymore. Someone is, <laughs> I don't know. Do what you want, Taurus. But at that point, like. I don't know. Someone could be dealing with the fire sign, the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Show us more on this energy. Seven of swords in reverse. Mm, yeah, Sagittarius energy again. All right. I don't know. You felt you, you, you are guarded. Okay. You're guarded towards this. I don't blame you. I don't. Um, you need to stand your ground with whoever this is. You must stand your ground with whoever this is. This not the one. Mm -mm. This person fall to su seduction too easily. They're, um, if they cheat once, ah, uh, you know, to each his own. To each his own. Some people may learn a lesson, but let them learn that lesson. You're the less, you're the person that they learn a lesson with. So the next person they come into connection with, they won't do this anymore. So it won't be that in a connection. So you don't have to re allow that person back in or allow that person another, give that person another chance because nine times out of 10, if they did it once, they'll do it again with the same person. But if you put your foot down, like, okay, thank you for being honest with me. Thank you for finally telling me what I already knew. But <laughs> thank you, but I must release myself from this. And guess what you're doing? You're not only teaching that person a lesson, because they could have they they're definitely losing the best thing they ever had. You showing up as the empress. You could be the emperor. You could be the masculine, male. I mean, male or female. Take it however it resonates. But you're not only teaching that person a lesson, but you're also learning too. Your self-worth. And you don't have to deal with that. And just because, okay, we come into connections many times throughout life. Soulmates, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. They're all soulmates. But you have to understand that just because this person was a part of this life journey, maybe you were supposed to last longer. But this person, whoever your person was, they messed up in their journey with you. So you have the right. To move on, you think spirit, you think spirit, you think God is not going to grant you with the right person, another person that will do you right. Oh, trust me, if you're doing right and you're wanting, you're going to get. It's just you have to have self worth. Oh, thank you, spirit. Love yourself first. Love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. 
okay? Male Taurus or female Taurus, whoever this message is resonating with. You have a situation where it's time to um it's time to 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 relieve. But I feel like that is what you're doing, but just don't return because this person is trying to they're trying. They're trying to they they forceful too. And that's what I don't like. They forceful. They are uh a big illusionist. You know, they try to uh they wear many masks, okay? Uh that mask have fell. You seen the truth. And then now they want to renew this. Don't be surprised. Some of you, this person may even show up with a ring or show up with uh um whatever it is that, that they promise you. Show up and tell you exactly what you want to hear. I just feel like at this per at this particular time, due to this particular reading, this person isn't ready. They're not ready. So for some of you, you're about to start a new journey elsewhere. But let me get more on this. This could be the one. Because this is definitely... If this is the one, you still need to go through your separation so this person can heal. But mm -mm. it was a lot of lies and deceit. Show us more on this. This could be the one. This could be the one spirit for Taurus. Okay, it's a closure. So it could, this is giving me, they had their chance, but time is up. They had their chance with you this lifetime, but they messed up. So they lost the opportunity with you. That's what this is giving me. This could be the one with the world is the cycle is closed. Because they missed their chance with you. They did not uh, appreciate you when they had you. They took you for granted. So you're their lesson. Ooh. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to dive more in um, Patreon to see see more about this situation. Um, and what's going to be the outcome of this situation. But as of right now, it looked like... Uh, you're their lesson. All right, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget on Wednesday, I will be live uh, between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time for questions and answers. And that is strictly psychic medium. Um, no cars, no tools. All right. See you later. Thank you.